will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name for ever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall lord your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendour of your majesty and on your wondrous works, I will meditate. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? First of all, I would like to show you some of the harvest from Fanny's community garden. It looks great. She brought home yesterday or two days ago. This is the time where lots of like community gardening are kind of, kind of slowing down and it's time, it is the harvest time. Well, first of all, I would like to show you for those of you who haven't been to church lately or drive by, I show you the church sign. Oh yeah. It is kind of sad because this is the time of the year that would be yesterday that we were very busy doing the country fair, which you have done that for the last 60 years. How amazing it is. But instead, because of the COVID-19, uh, we cancel it. Well, nevertheless, we, we did not even started to talk about whether we will have the 61st. Well, never mind. Um, so in a way, it is sad that we do not have that this year. But in the, at the same time, I think it is a good idea to take this year off as a time for reflection, as a time to think about, so how do you feel about not doing that this year? Do you like it? Do you feel sad? Do you feel, or are you kind of waiting for next year when you could do that again? This is the time to take stock, to think about what, we have done, or what you have done, for the last 60 years. It has been an amazing journey, and I hope that you will take this time to think about what you may do next year. I think a lot of you may be struggling, and I sometimes do. During this time when we are not able to come together as often as we like, to have public worship as often as we like, and things are kind of changing in an interesting way. However, in the last few months, I think we have somewhat adjusted to this new normal. We might get used to it. And I think because of the spirit of middle of um, September and Thanksgiving is not too far, I think of one of the Christian theme, that is Thanksgiving. Although Thanksgiving was kind of designated in the beginning of October as a way to celebration of this harvest time, and, but it is also a major theme which we learn from Christianity, to give thanks, to have a positive spirit, 
although things may not turn the way we expect it to be, the Christian faith allows us to think what God has done to us and the provisions of God, the caring, the protection from God. All these things play into this time of the year. And I hope that you will be encouraged to think of all the blessings that God has given us throughout the years. When you read the Psalms this uh, Sunday and also the, one of the hymns that we, I will be playing for you after this message is to praise the Lord, to give thanks. That is a positive thing to do during this time of the year. Think of the goodness of God. I ask that God will bless you, be with you, strengthen you, and give you faith. God of unending mercy and steadfast love, overcome our many injustices with your justice. Overtake our lust for revenge with your great mercy. We pray for late nations locked in enmity to be set free from old patterns and to embrace a new way of relating. We pray for people who wield economic power to take notice of those whom you notice and to have compassion for those who are vulnerable. We pray for day laborers and the unemployed and the homeless. Inspire us who have enough to share what we have, not in measured and resentful amounts, but gladly abundantly, so basic needs do not go unattended. Help us to see not only your grace at work in the world, but also your humor at work among us, the holy laughter that heals us and helps us to see ourselves rightly. We thank you for the privilege of believing in Christ, of living in Christ, and of living for Christ. In all things, at all times, we give thanks to you who never lets us go. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. May the generous grace of Christ attend you. The astounding love of God find you, and the surprising movement of the Holy Spirit guide you everywhere and always. <laughs>